97.1, The Fan. It's just a testimony to our culture, the program, and, and how we never stop swinging, never stop trying. That's the whole motto of, of how we train year-round. And it's come out a few times. It's come out last week against Michigan State. It came out this week, Wisconsin, any of those games. Never stop swinging. And couldn't ask for a better way for the team to send out the seniors. What was the, what was the issue on offense until really you needed to get it going? Um, they're getting pressure. I'm not exactly sure about everything else. I just know I mean, we gave up a lot of sacks, so we got to get better on the offensive line. I'm not sure anything else, though. What's the feeling like when Curtis breaks through at the end there? Oh, I saw the defense, how it was set, and I knew what play was called. And I, I knew before he called a play that it was going in. So it was just, man, that was a crazy feeling. I've never felt anything like that. And why'd you, why'd you say that? Why do you think? Why was it so open? What did you see from their alignment? And you, and which, they just uh, stacked the other side of the of the formation, and we run to, to the left. You've been so. part of some big ones, uh, national championship, Alabama. What does this rank? Oh, where does it rank? I mean, it's up there if it's first, if not, you know, tied with first. Just senior day, all the emotions that go along with this week, rivalry week. Um, just my, my parents getting to be on the field, senior tackle, a lot of emotions going into this week. And um, get to run out in the field and give my mom some roses before the game. And after the game, I got to uh, go up and I lifted my sister and my mom, my brother onto the field and they were crying. It's just an experience that's never gonna be forgotten in my family. And my grandpa was there. He hasn't been to a game in a long time, but he told me three years ago, he goes, I'm coming to the one on senior day. Your last game in the shoe, and the, and the weather was good for him. And, and he got to hear Elfline, that's his name, you know, run across the field and, and for the crowd to go, um, you know, applause. And it was just, couldn't be any better. Couldn't be any better. Five years in a row against Michigan, you get a win. When is that going to sink in? Man, not a lot of, I don't think a lot of people have done that. And it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. At a place like this, against a team like that, we just played. What a, a great football team we just played, and got it done. Got it done. Ever really doubt in your mind that the outcome of this game was because <laughs> from upstairs it felt like that was a back and forth affair. Right? Yeah, it was, and we knew that going in, it was going to be a street fight. And no, there was never any doubt that we could pull it out. And like I said, it's a testimony to our training and how we keep swinging and never give up. Your number one source for sports, 97.1, The Fan. Fan.